got back to the truck. Uh, this guy hit this buck right, right before it shot this 3x3. Three three. We'd been looking at him for quite a while, but decided not to shoot until he uh, finally presented the shot. Once we finally end. decided to shoot him, we waited, and we waited for probably a half hour, almost a half hour, while he just sat there feeding right towards us. Never did give us a broadside shot. Finally, he gave us the angle. This guy hit him. He hit him a little bit further back than we wanted, but he was on a good angle, so I, I think that we're going to be okay. So anyway, uh, we're going to grab some flashlights and go look for him and uh, yep, hopefully find Sky's buck still tonight. Yeah, blood? Yeah, bleeding pretty good so far, even though I hit it pretty far back. Blood? Oh yeah. Now. Going left right here, the blood. Oh, big one, big blood right here. Looks like he laid down. He's hit hard. All right, here we go from there. Oh, it's all over those bushes. He's got to be right here. It looks like he's laying. It looks like he's crashing. Oh, there's some good blood. There he is, right here. Holy crap! Yep, nice job, man. Good tracking job. All right. Yep, a little further back. Good buck shining up there on his head. Nice right, job. Again with Sky, his third buck. Uh, pretty dang exciting. His third buck with a bow. He's uh, 14 years old and been hunting three years, so he's doing well. He's got that two by three and now this uh, three by three, but last year he got the four by two with the acorns. And so, anyway, two years in a row he's been going after uh, after Gimpy, and uh, that buck we nicknamed Gimpy, and that dang thing's eluded us again. And tonight we had him at uh, 20 yards and he wouldn't give us the shot. He was standing there facing us for probably 10 minutes and then he turned and walked away. So anyway, this guy was still there and this guy wanted to hold out. So we held out for about another hour hoping uh, we'd get another crack at uh, Gimpy and it didn't happen. And this buck was facing us towards the evening. Um, they'd all left and we thought we were going to get skunked and tonight's the last night of the hunt. But this buck came back and faced his head on for about a half hour, 20 minutes at least, and then finally turned sideways and was able to get the shot. A little bit further back, but a, a great entrance hole, and it was angled at the right angle that he literally only went uh, 70 yards. Uh, hit definitely through the gut. We knew we hit a gut shot, and so I thought we needed to leave it a little bit longer. But wow, this lightweight bow, 40 pounds. He's uh, shooting light arrows because we're trying to get as much speed as we can. We know a lot of people say that you need to get the weight to carry it through, but we're kind of going with the, we need more speed so we can get that speed to carry it through. A little bit further back than we wanted, but geez, we had great penetration all the way up except for the very end of the arrow was in. So we had a good, uh, probably 20 inches, maybe uh, 18, 16 for sure, probably 18 inches of arrow in him. And uh, nice shot. I was thinking it was too far back. We were going to be having to wait for a long time. Went to check out the blood trail. There was tons of blood. So he says, hey, let's just follow him for a minute. And he was 70 yards from where he hit him, just laying there piled up. So anyway, anyway nice job, yep, Sky. we're finished up and it's a great year. It's the last night of the hunt. And so what do you have to say for yourself, Sky? Uh, well, I was trying to get Gimpy, but happy with this buck too. It's a good one. Yep, he is. He's a great buck. So anyway, yeah, we're having fun with the Epic Broadhead. And uh, yeah, we're putting some deer on the ground. and. Boy, I'll just tell you, the devastation of those holes they're leaving in them are just amazing. So, yep, good times. <laughs>